If you want to make some killer synthwave jazz music on the NPC from scratch, then you better lock in for this video. I've been experimenting with combining jazz beats and synthwave. When you fuse these two using the Dragon Ball Fusion Dance, you get something I call synthwave jazz. Well, that is my best guess and what to call it, but if you know the exact genre, let me know in the comments. Let me explain it simply. I'll be incorporating a few jazz techniques along with synth sound. In this video, you're gonna learn how to create beautiful bass arpeggios, unique chords, and riffs using various scales to craft unique synthwave jazz track. Now let's get started right here. First, let's go over the settings. Now, I always like to do a 16 bar loop. Okay, chill, let's do 32. So we really got a lot of breathing room here. Now I'm going to load up that sweet, sweet Jura plugin. Now I already favorited a preset and this one's called Chatter and I'm gonna be using this for chords. And we're gonna stay at the 120 BPM, so no need to change that. Step one, chords, one, three, five, seven. Cycle of the fifth. Cycle of the Fifth is just a common chord progression and it's used in like Autumn Leaves, which is just like my favorite. So I'll go ahead and hit that half perform. Now I'm going to hit chords over here and I'm going to click over here and make sure I'm at 1357. So make sure you scroll there. I'm going to use the F minor scale and I want to make sure I'm at natural minor. So simply Cycle of the Fifth is after hitting one chord, you move five steps up. And on the piano keyboard, there's gonna be white and black notes. But in this case, we don't have that. So instead, we're gonna move three times up. So watch this. And move up one, two, three. And again, but going down. One, two, three. And again, down. One, two, three. And finish it right here and repeat Okay, that is a beautiful chord progression. Now I'm going to make this loop quicker for the entire 32 bars. First go to the home page, then hit SEQ. Scroll to either 8, 16, 32, or 64. So let's do eight. Now I'm going to check if this is the right amount by going to the grid mode. And I can see the yellow line just populated and it's not covering the entire chord progression. So let's bump it up to, let's say 32. You see, now it's covering the entire chord progression. So when I play this, it's going to keep repeating this for the entire 32 bars. Now that was cool, but we can make this even more interesting using this next strategy here. Step two, note repeat, bass 1357 arpeggio. So I'm going to make another track and I'm going to load up a, another Jura plugin. This time I'm using a preset called Catapult and go over to Pad Perform and same steps from before, make sure you're in the chord mode and make sure you're at the 1357 chord style. Now this next part makes all of the difference. Double click, note repeat, and make sure you go back to the main screen so you can see the options here and make sure you click on the 1 16th. Now, when you hit a pad, you're gonna hit here something like this. Now, that sounds kinda cool, but hey, you're a music god who tucks their NPCs in bed every night. Bro, what are you talking about, man? And we're gonna be going even further beyond. So, take advantage of the arpeggio settings. Hit art, and let's start with two octaves. For simplicity, we're gonna be using the up, down, and down feature variety. And then you just want to start recording using different settings at different points in the track. I almost forgot to mention this, but I'm still following the same cycle of fifth progression here. I'm going up down on the first note and then I move up three times and I'm using the down mode on the arpeggio for that second note. Step three, note mode improvisation. First, make a new track. And for the preset, I'm going to be using 
deja vu, deja vu. for the Jura plugin still. Now I'm going to arm this. I'm going to go to pad perform and I want to make sure I'm at notes. And over here, I'm going to scroll until I get pentatonic minor for that cool guitar feel. There's two ways to make cool melodies. So one, just keep hitting pads. Uh, use the red colored pads as checkpoints. So when you're trying to finish a verse, try to land right on the red pads and nine out of 10 times, it's gonna sound great. Uh, another trick you can use is to slow down the BPM. Let's just do half. So let's do 60 and let's just record a riff. Oh God, it's so slow. And let's bring it back to 120 and check this out. So personally, I'm going to skip that step because my fingers are itching to just go nuts at 120 BPM. Step four, note repeat drums. So this is just a little hack to get some interesting combinations for your drums. This is super subjective, so feel free putting your own drum style here. I'm going to use a synth wave kit I whipped up, so you can use uh, like the Dirty Drummer kit or the Acoustic Fat kit that comes with the MPC for the same feel. So just double click note repeat, make sure you're on 1 16th, and I mean just, I guess just check this out. Step five, switch it up. Now for this step, I'm literally flipping everything on its head. I'm curious to see if going off rails is going to sound cool. It might make sense, it might not, it probably won't, but I switch up the bass, drums, and I just started riffing using the blue scale, so check this out. If you made it this far, then you're a real one. I can already tell you take your music a bit more seriously, and I'm glad you're watching this Chunky Squirrel mess around. Hitting that subscribe button or leaving a comment means a lot, and it really helps this channel. Now, YouTube thinks you'll want to watch this video here.